of Rochester and Strood, and also a professional economist before you became a member of Parliament, Mark. Let's start with that general question Helen posed at the end of her report. How much is this a personal question for the people who borrow the money or one for the government? And I think it's both a personal question and for the government, but also a, a question for the banks. And, and very often the banks have over lent, and rather than looking at proper sort of credits and scoring, and uh, they, they've gone to a system where they were just sort of encouraging sort of almost like a sales-based culture to sort of get the loans out the door. And it, it's not surprising that a lot of those loans people aren't able to repay. And, and very often the banks will need to sort of write down those loans or perhaps sort of accept they're not going to get interest on them in order to get any return at all. And, and very often I would encourage people to go and you know, discuss with their bank, discuss with their, their creditor and, and try to come to an a, a arrangement rather than just putting, putting the thing aside, which I know can be tempting Do you to agree do. with the Financial Services Authority, which wants the banks to carry out tighter checks and also to be, a, be more flexible, lend money over longer periods of time, for example? Well, I think that the problem at the, the moment is more perceived as that sort of the banks aren't sort of lending. And I think it's very difficult, particularly for first-time buyers, to get onto the housing ladder or to get a, a mortgage if you're, you're needing sort of 15 or even 25% as a, a deposit. And I, I wouldn't support sort of, you know, putting extra sort of regulation to make it even more difficult to get mortgages, because I think the banks have gone from lending far too readily to now actually it being, you know, really, really, really quite difficult to borrow. The coalition government hasn't had much success in influencing banks and how they do lend money so far, so what's the answer? Well, I mean, the banks tell us that, you know, there's not the, there's not the, the, the demand for it. I'm not, not, not clear that's, that, that's the case. But, but what's happening is the banks, I think, are very sensibly reacting to what they did wrongly before and are taking a more sort of cautious approach to, to lending. And that's making it very, very, very difficult for sort of younger people in particular to sort of buy houses. Okay. I want to get back to payday loans, which you yes. mentioned that report, because a lot of people in your constituents, as, you, as we heard, are getting into this cycle where they're borrowing high interest loans in order to pay off other debts. They're in a devastating cycle and we saw the personal effect it can, it can have on people and their relationships. What can you do about them? Well, I think you know, a, a payday loan that's sort of, you know, a very high interest rate, if you put it like that, because you're only taking the loan for a month. I mean, if you're in a one-off situation, you get an expensive bill, or you, know, you just need to get through it, but you haven't actually got a lot, lot, of, lot of debt, you know, sometimes for those people it, 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 it may be something that they, wished, that they wish to do. I think the problem is when people are using sort of payday loans to sort of pay off a, a, another creditor and are just sort of piling it on to, to yet more debt. And in that situation, if people can't pay their, their debts, rather than taking on extra debt, if payday loan or, or otherwise, what they need to do is actually sort out the situation, go to say the, the Citizens Advice Bureau or, or one you're of the... They're struggling. I mean, they say they're reaching crisis point. Even are. though I know you're going to say that the coalition government's given them a nice sum of money to help, they say, despite that, they're going to reach crisis point this summer. Yeah, I mean, I think if, for, for me as, a, as an MP, I just see that the value of what the CAB do, and I'm delighted that the, the, the coalition government has been able to support them. And the CAB is one option, but also I think there are sort of you know, fair sort of debt management companies like the, like the Consumer Credit Advisory Council or a company called PayPlan, who take a, a sensible sort of 11 percent. They don't take that from the, the, the person in trouble; they take it from the from the creditors. And I think you know that's a very sensible way for people right. to organise their debt. But you also get people advertising on daytime TV or in some of the tabloids. You can't escape the adverts, and if you're desperate, you're going to be tempted, aren't you? That's that, the that's trouble. And these people are unscrupulous in, in the way that they're advertising their product. Indeed. And you asked me what the coalition government could do, and actually this is an area where I would support sort of improved regulation, because I don't think it, you know, it, it really helps at all having companies who are coming in charging sort of 18 percent and taking the first few months payments sort of up front, because that doesn't give them the motivation to get a long-term solution. So I would support sort of better regulation in this area, where we only have the responsible companies doing this sort of job along with the CAB and others to, to help people uh, out of the debt situation. Interestingly, just this week, your, your neighbouring Member of Parliament, Raymond Chishy, was criticising the papers for going along to the opening of one of these money shops and saying this was a, a good thing. Was that wise? Well, I think sort of Ray, Ray I think, sort of will, will answer for him, him, himself sort of on that, and I think we'd all support sensible regulation and the measures the coalition government are doing here. Okay, Mark Reckless, thank you very much indeed.